I'm going to show you how to pick the right scanner radio for your area by using nothing more than the radio reference database. If you like these videos, please hit subscribe to find out more information about the scanner radio hobby. So I'm going to go to New York because that's where I live. And we're going to come down here to the county that I'm in, in is Nassau County. So the very first thing we're going to look at is any information we can see about any trunk systems that we need to take a look at. So we know right away that I have Nassau County Police working on a Project 25 Phase 2 system. And we can also see that we've got an EDAC system. Let's keep this in the back of our mind. Next thing we also know is we only see one conventional frequency here for law enforcement. This tells us really that we're going to need a scanner that either does P25 or EDAX, and we'll dive into this. As we move down here into fire, we also see P25 and EDAX, but we also have plenty of conventional. And we're looking here at the mode column for everything. Okay, FM, FM narrow. This is going to indicate here that we can use an analog only scanner like the SR30C, the 125AT, something like that. As we scan down here and look down, we find also two P25 is required for some EMS and Medcom talk groups. Again, we're looking at FM narrow. And as we scroll through here, the next thing we're going to pick out here is DMR when it comes to Freeport Department of Public Works. So if we're not interested in listening to anything on the Freeport Department of Public Works, we don't have to worry about DMR. But again, something to keep in the back of our mind here. As we keep on scrolling down, again, we see a little bit more here for the town of Hempstead Water. Uh, DMR again also here for the Long Beach building inspectors and we keep coming down here. One thing we did not notice though and we did not see is any encryption, right? There was no E here to flag that there's any encryption. So we keep on going down here and everything is looking good as far as uh, analog reception. The next thing we want to look at too is at the very bottom of the page, we want to see any type of trunk systems that are in the county. Something we're going to notice here is that we've got a Town of Hempstead DMR system. We also have a DMR High Terra XPT system. We've got NXDN. Uh, we've also got LTR, EDAX, Motorola Type 2 Smart Zones, uh, P Project P25. So we've got a lot of stuff going on here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it really quickly, sub some other um, browsers or tabs in our browsers just so we have things bookmark to look at here. Again, we'll look at some one voice stuff here, PSCG Long Island, right? We've got a lot of different stuff going on here. Let's come back up to the top and let's look at the EDAC system before we look at the P25 system. So let's look at the EDAC system and we're going to notice that we've got plenty of analog in here, right? We don't have anything here that says D in the mode column or DE or D lowercase C. This tells us we've got, oh, no, we do right here. We've got DE. What does this tell me? This says it's a digital talk group and it's encrypted. Okay, so there's no sense in buying the Pro Voice upgrade in our scanner because, again, this is an EDAC system. Uh, it's an encrypted talk group. Okay, everything else here is analog. We're good on this one. Let's look at the P25 system. The P25 system, we see a couple things here. Simulcast, 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 simulcast. Let's put this in the back of our mind. But we do see here digital encrypted, digital encrypted. Okay, anything here for PD, right? What are we looking at here? It's encrypted. This tells us that if we want to monitor the police department in Nassau County, it's not going to happen because they're encrypted. Okay, let's keep on rolling out in here. D uh, digital here on fire talk groups, EMS digital, interop talk groups. We have one digital here with Suffolk County Police. Okay, no big deal there. So we are definitely pulling out village police departments encrypted, right? One thing to also notice here is that even though it says it's a Project P25 Phase 2 system, we only have P25 Phase 1 talk groups. The mode here is only D. It's not a T, as in TOM or TDMA. The D tells us it's digital, and it means it's P25 Phase 1 only. So the next thing we want to look at here is simulcast. This means we've got multiple transmitter locations transmit at the exact same time. So if I look at primary simulcast and I click on here, we can then look at on a call sign map, we can see all the different locations of the transmitters here, 
right? All through here. This is just one of the call signs. There's two call signs just in this one layer. So all of these locations key up at the exact same time. This means if you were, say, right in the middle of here, guess what's going to happen? You're going to pick up probably four sites, or I'm sorry, four locations on that simulcast site. This will mean you're most likely going to need an SDS 100 or an SDS 200 in order to properly receive this system. Okay, what else have we looked at here? Well, we know we can get away with some analog because of the fire. Uh, encryption on the PD, so that's kind of out. But if you, again, if you want to listen to some of these fire talk groups here, EMS, right? We're going to need to have a P25 simulcast capable radio. What else we have here? Well, we've got PSEGLI. Well, again, what we've seen here, simulcast. Again, this is a Project P25 Phase 2, and this one has TDMA talk groups. This one is a true TDMA, or Phase 2 system. Okay, what else we have in here? Well, I found this one voice system with all of these sites here. And it's up to you to figure out if this is something you want to monitor, right? If it is, and again, where I live in the town of Oyster Bay, we actually have somewhere tucked away in here, which I'm not able to find at the exact moment, but there is a town of Oyster Bay uh, sort and sanitation uh, right here, uh, talk group. So if I wanted to monitor them, I would need a scanner capable of doing DMR. So what does this mean? This means I need a radio like the TRX-1, the TRX-2, um, the 325P2, 96P2, the 436, 536, SDS100, SDS200 with the DMR upgrade. Now, again, the TRX1 and TRX2 doesn't require a DMR upgrade. It's already built in. So, again, let's take a look at the MTA regional system. That was another one here. This is a Type 2 smart system. What do we want to look about with this one? Well, again, this one is on 900. It doesn't say anything here about being rebanded. So, if we wanted to listen to this system, we could use any older Motorola type 2 capable radio and monitor this system, which is great. So this means that any of the old radios like the uh, the BC7080 XLT could possibly still work on this system. Uh, I have to check my notes to make sure it can receive in this range. But if it does, you're perfectly fine of monitoring this system with, the, uh, with this radio. Because again, it is non- rebanded and it's a type 2 smart system what else we have here mta p25 uh trunk system again here again too again we've got plenty of simulcast on here this again a 700 megahertz system we've got digital encrypted right some tdma in here as well so we would need a scanner that does p25 uh, phase one and phase two, and also something that does the simulcast. Now, the last one I look look at as well to show you is the old Suffolk County system because it's another county away from us. Again, we do the same exact thing here. Look for all the analog on here, right? All the fire departments are all pretty much analog. So we're we can use an analog scanner here. But what I'm looking at here though is the Suffolk County Type Two system. Again, this system has gone through rebanding. This means in order to monitor this system, we would need a newer scanner that's capable of doing rebanding again a moral um a trunk tracker three style radio would work fine again we've got some uh some digital in here some encryption mostly analog so again a radio like the uh the 325 the 996 those kinds of radios will work fine on this system for now until they sunset it so again to summarize what we look at when we look at a system we look at any type of notes we see up here what kind of trunk systems we're looking at any trunk systems we have here on the bottom that we may be interested in. And then we take a look and see what kind of systems we have here too as well. And again, I'm also seeing NXDN on this one. So again, we may look at an NXDN capable scanner. Uh, again, we have NXDN also here too in the, the trunk uh, systems as well in this county. So again, that also changes the type of radio we want to look at as well. So again, again quickly to summarize, take a look at the, the county. Look at the trunk systems, look for analog, look for encryption, then enter into the trunk systems you're looking at, find out if you need rebanding, find out if they're digital, find out their P25, find out their simulcast, and that is your path into figuring out what type of radio to use in, uh, in your area by looking at the radio reference database.